Hello guys, Johnny Bag of Donuts over here. Today, we're gonna to be working on these uh, air-cooled McQuay chillers. These are, I believe, 30-ton chillers. Should we go take a good look at it? I don't even know how many tons this is. Model number right there. I believe it, they're 30 tons. Air cooled, air cooled chillers. We got three of them. I had a problem with that one. Float switch problem. Replace the float switch. That one's running. This one here had a leak on the bellow of the P66 controller, which is this guy right here. So I got the new one here. I'm gonna go ahead and wire that in. Pull a vacuum on this guy and charge it up. And these suckers take 47 pounds per circuit. Two circuits. And then this one right here, we have a problem with the TXV. We have that. We also have the expansion valve. And uh, we're going to go ahead and replace that. So we'll start with that one while we're uh, recovering the refrigerant out of this one. And, uh, and then I'll show you guys uh, you know what we're doing here. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, I thought I'd just show you guys on that other unit. This is the fan speed control that uh, that uh, had a leak on the bellow uh, on this little tube, but it was right in the controller itself. So I mean, I, I'd just rather change the whole thing. It's easier. Um, it's the controls for this unit. And we got uh, two tandem compressors here. These big guys, uh, uh, they're brothers, they're twins. Let's take a look at that model number. So the compressors are in there, scroll technology. Um, that's it, and I gotta get right, where the hell am I? Where is that TXV? Right there. Gotta change that sucker. And we'll change the dryer, of course. Which is somewhere back there. I thought I'd just show you guys this unit. Alright, guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. More coming. More to come, brothers. The vacuum, I mean, uh, the recovery machine. Gotta sit up and recover this uh, this uh, unit. In total, we have uh, I believe 94 pounds to go. A lot of refrigerant. Uh, it's a tan. I I, I did say it was a tandem. Yes, it's a tandem tandem unit. All compressors they're joined together. So 94 pounds of refrigerant. I gotta get out of here. I can do anything. Hey guys, we got the new P66 mounted. Uh, got the low voltage rewired. Really and uh, see right there, that goes right onto the discharge. Um, basically, it's a fan cycling switch. Um, they have ones that sort of act like a VFD. Um, this one doesn't. Um, actually, this might be, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this stone goes on and off or uh turn the vacuum on. Yeah, turn the vacuum on. Or uh or just reduces the speed. I don't remember. And uh, uh shit, it's a little tight here. And how you wire this simple right there. You break the fan. The and there's a fan motor uh, line voltage. Put one here, and one on that terminal. And uh, we'll just open and close, depending on pressure. Actually, yeah, this is the one that turns the fan on and off. This is not the one that uh, acts like a variable frequency drive. I wanna show you guys the pump mechanical room. Hey, Steve, Steve Lab, this one is for you, brother. I know you love those boilers. Gas fired boiler. Okay. 
Got the pumps here, VFDs in the wall. It's for heating, these pumps for the heat. I mean, we can use them for the chiller too. Just gotta open up the bypass valves. And I'll close off all the valves. If we really need to use it, we could use it. They kind of act like a standby. All right, got it. And uh, this is the brains. This is the controller that controls everything. You work. Expansion tank. the fancy uh, hose setup like my boy uh, Chris Rogers so, uh, got this so so I got man I gotta get a vacuum on this sucker charge it up 94 pounds and this sucker still recovering 